It's the type of property middle-class Singaporeans like Raj Chotrani couldn't hope to afford in their densely populated homeland. This is Tranquility Park. Not so here, less than an hour away from downtown Singapore in Iskandar, Malaysia, a special economic zone, some three times the size of Singapore. This unit behind me, all right, approximately per square foot price is 90 Sing dollars, Singapore dollars. Now a comparable landed property in Singapore, all right, or any landed property in Singapore would be anywhere between 900 to 1,000 Singapore dollars. So we're looking at a 10, uh, 10 times difference here. Mm -hmm. So value for money, this is very good. Chotrani's property is just a 15-minute drive from the closest bridge to Singapore. Developers report that Singaporeans account for between 40 and 60 percent of the buyers of higher-end properties in the zone. Profitable Group is Singapore's biggest seller of Iskandar residential properties. Initially, it started off the vast majority were for investment. Um, but increasingly, I now detect a, um, a wave of people looking uh, for somewhere to think about retirement. The, the one thing Iskandar offers, which Singapore doesn't, is space. 85% um, of the people in Singapore still live in an apartment block. That interest continued right through the global slump of the past year. In the three years since its launch, the zone has exceeded its five-year investment target and attracted some $7.5 billion of FDI, with the biggest chunk of that coming from the Gulf and Europe. Proximity to Singapore is key for all new investors, though, whether in real estate, services sectors like entertainment, education, medical and finance, and even manufacturing. I think the real value of Iskandar to Malaysia, to Singapore, to everyone, is really to have that integration with Singapore because it is by leveraging off this huge port, airport, financial centre, manufacturing hub that Singapore is, that Iskandar can grow. During the past year's downturn, Singaporean small and medium enterprises were the biggest single investors, committing more than three quarters of a billion dollars. Singapore's Frontkin Group specializes in applying coatings to protect critical equipment in industries such as oil and gas, power generation and marine. The company recently set up a plant in the zone in Johor State. We foresee that there are a lot of future benefits. The more successful is Skanda, it makes more sense for people else to be in there. More companies will move into this region, uh, into Iskandar area, and we'll have a lot more customers to serve. So it's, it's, it's good to, be, to make Iskandar a success from a business perspective. It's a powerful attraction for the part of Malaysia's Johor state closest to Singapore. Economists call it the economies of geographic concentration. If you put lots of activities within the same uh, limited geographic area, uh, you get lower costs, you get great exchange of information, and overall it becomes a very high return uh, place to locate businesses. And I think southern Johor, in, in more or less the area that Iskandar encompasses, really has those characteristics. But there are those here who worry that too much investment and home buying by Singaporeans will marginalise and reduce opportunities for Malaysians in the country's south. Loudest among the critics has been Malaysia's former Prime Minister, Mahathir Mohamad. Officials for the zone and the state of Johor in which it lies dismiss those criticisms. More high-skilled jobs will be created uh, in Iskandar. So I think Malaysian, uh, all, of, all over Malaysia, including people in Johor, would be able to take advantage of these opportunities of high-skilled uh, job and better paid job. Malaysia aims to create some 800,000 new jobs and attract some $100 billion of investment here over the next 25 years. Most believe it will be to the mutual benefit of the countries and people on both sides of the Johor Strait, despite the potential competition and occasional friction. When Singaporeans and Malaysians of any race meet uh, outside uh, you know, their region, there's an instant uh, sort of... Uh, sense of understanding and empathy. And that shows that I think the commonalities actually overwhelm the, the, the differences. Singapore needs a strong Malaysia. It needs a strong South Malaysia. Uh, it's the quickest, simplest, cheapest 
uh, most effective uh, place in the world for Singapore to do business with. And to buy weekend, holiday and retirement homes in, provided Malaysia can find ways to ease traffic congestion, speed up immigration clearance and ensure the high levels of security and other services it's pledging. The infrastructure around us is being developed, so obviously over the next five, ten years, we're going to see state-of-the-art infrastructure, very good quality of living at a very, very affordable price.